so the title of our project is Tidy Up, uh, Tidy Up Robot. My name is Jürgen Sturm, and um, I come from the University of Freiburg. Uh, this is a joint initiative from three robotics groups there, uh, from Wolfram Burgert's lab, Bernhard, Bernhard Nebel's lab, and Martin Riedmiller's lab. And we are all from, all from the Department of Computer Science uh, from the University of Freiburg. And one question that I was asked uh, several times in the past few days is actually, where is Freiburg? And well, Freiburg is in, um, in the southwest of Germany. Um, uh, Freiburg is a relatively small city with 200,000 inhabitants, and our university has mo uh, more than 30,000 students, so ne nearly uh, or more than uh, one third of all uh, the, the population of Freiburg actually is somehow studying uh, at the university. Uh, it's, it's a traditional university that has a, a, a large technical faculty. We have computer science and uh, microsystem technology there, and we are uh, very strong in, uh, in artificial intelligence and in robotics. Um, there are actually five robotics groups in Freiburg, um, but only three of them participated here now in the, in the proposal. That's uh, the Autonomous Intelligent Systems Lab of Wolfram Burgard, um, the Research Group on Foundations of Artificial Intelligence, uh, headed by Bernhard Nebel, and the Machine Learning Lab, headed by Martin Riedmiller. And we also have two uh, other robotic groups, um, uh, the U Humanoid Robots Group from Maren Benevitz and the Social Robotics Lab from Kai Aras. Um, the Autonomous Intelligent Systems Lab um, <coughs> mainly uh, where I'm also, also a member of, uh, is uh, mainly concerned with mobile robots. And um, we, we had in the past uh, very strong contributions to, to for example, mapping uh, with mobile robots. Uh, most of you, I guess, will know the G-mapping package from Giorgio Grissetti. Uh, we also did lots of stuff with navigation and localization of, of mobile robots. Um, and all of that is um, uh, in, in the theme of probabilistic robotics, that is bringing probability theory and robotic state estimation together. Uh, on the, in, in the images, you can see some of the robots that we, that we have in our lab. You see a large variety of completely different uh, platforms. We have several um, mobile platforms uh, that we use indoor and outdoor. Um, we have also uh, flying uh, vehicles, uh, like the blimp uh, on the top of the picture, or the quadrotor uh, on, the, on the lower left. And then there is the research group on the foundations of artificial, artificial intelligence, uh, headed by Bernhard Nebel. Um, the group um, is uh, very strong in action planning. They do obviously more things than that, but that's, that's one of their um, um, uh, ma main uh, re research uh, in, in interests. They uh, have contributed very um, m many things in, in theory and also showed in, in practical experiments um, uh, that, that, it, that it is useful. Um, they, they organize uh, on a yearly basis uh, planning competitions, international planning competitions. Um, and they did also lots of stuff in, uh, in, in the realm of uh, qualita uh, qual qualitative temporal spatial reasoning. Um, there are also several RoboCup teams um, in, in this group. Uh, they uh, won the ch World Championship three times um, in, in the past. Uh, and they also built the world's first uh, autonomous table soccer robot, uh, which is pretty hard to beat or basically impossible to beat uh, at human speed. And, uh, and they participate at the RoboCup Rescue League. And um, the third group is the machine learning lab from Martin Riedmiller. Um, they are very strong in everything which, uh, which is related to, to, to machine learning uh, tasks. So, so they uh, did, did a lot in reinforcement learning um, using neural networks. Um, and the main focus uh, for, for them is to, to make it really learn fast, so learning from only a few training samples, because a robot only has a finite number of uh, fi finite time to actually collect data. So you wanted to really learn efficiently policies and uh, strategies. Um, so, so they, they have shown the, the uh, efficiency of their uh, systems in, in s several applications, for example, a forecasting system for the distribution of newspapers in Germany. Um, but also, uh, they, they've also won the, the World Championship in uh, RoboCup before uh, Martin Riedmiller came to Freiburg uh, to w one year ago, uh, and also in, in industry projects. Um, now I come to the real project uh, that we want to do with the PR2. Uh, well, the, project goal of our tidy up robot uh, is uh, that we want to um, uh, to implement um, uh, a reliable fe fetch and carry uh, applica application um, for, for mobile manipulators uh, and we specifically want to focus on uh, domestic environments so uh, just to give an example um, consider the case that you have the robot in your home and you want it to tidy up the living room so the robot needs to go to the living room maybe open the door to get in there then look at the table see all the objects, and then move all the objects to where they belong. That means bringing them back to the kitchen, putting them in the dishwasher, putting them in a cupboard, uh, and so on. 
Uh, and for that, we have, uh, from a technical, uh, technical side of view, um, we want to contribute four, uh, five, five uh, different software modules um, that we license under the, uh, the LGPL uh, license. Um, so, so on the top left, you see the feature-based object recognition. Um, uh, I will go on, on, uh, over all of these modules uh, uh, in more detail on a later slide. Uh, we provide a module for ki uh, learning kinematic models for article objects. And then maybe the most central uh, module that we want to provide is a generalized map representation that allows us to store all the information that we get from the various modules in a, in a single place that's able to um, pro provide symbolic information um, and semantic information over the world, so, such that we not only have the map of the environment, but also have the, um, um, uh, all the objects located in the environment and all the properties of these objects uh, also stored in this semantic map. And um, we, we need that for a symbolic planner that then comes up with a plan that we can ac actually execute on the robot. Uh, and finally, we have a reinforcement learning module, or we want to program implement a reinforcement learning module um, that uh, then controls the motion of the manipulator.